So this is a patient with the uh, tumor of the head of pancreas. Uh, she underwent the RCP about a week ago to I to put a stand for a biliary decompression, which we could not do because of major invasion of the papilla and a stricture of the duodenum. So she had a perk drain with a wall stent now. And we're going for a duodenal stent uh, because of a symptomatic obstruction of the duodenum, which is not total, but still severe enough. Now you can see the lumen of the duodenum. You can see the biliary stand that has been inserted by percutaneous approach. And since we can go down into the duodenum, it's going to be easier to put the stand in place so we don't have to go blindly through the stricture. So we're going to go down into the duodenum with a standard balloon catheter and a wire, leave it there, put the stand in the right position and then pull back the scope inside of the stomach so we can see clearly the releasing system and then just release gradually the stent. Since the stricture is at, uh, since the stricture is at the T D2 level, mid D2, uh, we're going to go for a 12 centimeter long stent. Yeah, it's going to go down to D3 and coming back through the pylorus. And this way we're going to get a good decompression of the entire duodenum. So you can see D3 now. So we don't need to put any dye to see the duodenum because we know that we're in the right position since we went down there with the scope. Otherwise we would have gone through the stricture with the balloon catheter and then put some dye so we have nice pictures. But now it's not needed in this situation. So basically you can see the wire and the balloon going down and now we're all the way so we're going to go down even the proximal jejunum now. So we had the angle of trites. It just doesn't want to go through. So we're going to inflate the balloon. It should help to go even further down. So it just did. So you can see that it's going far down. So we're going to leave the wire there, pull back the balloon all the way into the scope. Okay, so as you can see, you have the wire going very far to the proximal jejunum, and the scope is still in the distal D2 position. Okay, so now we're going to introduce the device over the wire while the scope is still in a D2 position. Very often the wire won't come out of the device if it's far down the bowel, but it doesn't matter, it's gonna come out in a minute, so we just introduce. I always put some uh, gel, jelly over the device so it slides down more easily, and it's easier to put it down into the duodenum, so now we're seeing through the scope the device that is coming out and basically if we look on the fluoroscopy you have it down going all the way so you see the wire far down in the bowel and the device that is going in D3 so basically all we're going to do is feed it down while we pull back on the scope because we want to be sitting in the stomach so you can see now clearly the biliary stand with the tumor and we're just going to keep pulling back into the stomach so we have a better view. So you can see that it's going down there. And now basically, just going to try to have a view of the pylorus area. So this way we avoid making too much x-rays and getting too much irradiation for a patient in the team, obviously. So we're just suctioning the stomach. And now we're going to try to get the view.
So now we can see the pylor is down there. And now if you look down there, close to the pylor is, you can see the marker that is the yellow bar at the junction after the blue wire. So you can see perfectly well. So all we're gonna do is re release the system while looking at it. And that should give us a nice position. I'm trying to put some air, but just doesn't want to inflate. Just trying to find the right position so we can see well. I'm just trying to find the position and hold it there, but it just is unstable for the patient. Okay, so now the, the yellow marker is just close to the pallor, so it's hard to see in the secretions. So we're going to start releasing the stand gradually. Wait, was it? Now you can see the marker that is right there. So we just release gradually, and you can see the yellow bar that is holding there. I'm pulling back slightly just to keep my position while she's releasing to the point of no return which we reached so now we're going to pull back on this string and say bolt and now we're going to keep releasing as you can see there's no fluoroscopy done at this point of time because we see perfectly well what we're doing and now you have the stand that's going to pop out totally in a second which is in a perfect position so as you can see it's just sitting close to the pylorus so you can see the lumen in the stand. If you need to go, you could go. So, and you see the wire that we're gonna pull back. So it's just sitting right on the pylorus with a perfect position, so perfect drainage. And if you look on the endoscopy, you have the stand going down first part, second, third, and it's sitting perfectly well. So we're just gonna empty the stomach, pull back the scope. 